Hey guys, so today um, we are going to talk about part of your onboarding process, which is setting up your templates for all of your contracts in zip form. So this is a huge time saver. Um, today I'm going to just review zip forms for those, those of you using Instanet. Um, I'm not going to do a video on that, but it is very similar. Um, and so the theory is, is that if you set up templates for a buyer, for a listing, and for a lease, um, you can then apply all of those uh, templates to every transaction that you do from this point forward. And I'll explain what that looks like in a second. But um, I'm going to start from the beginning. So let's just try and log into Zip Forms uh, right from uh, the MLS here. So uh, for those of you uh, that have a screen that looks like this, there is a Zip Forms login right here. Zip Forms is uh, a TAR application, and so a lot of the forms that we'll use for seller is actually um, generated by the Texas Association of Realtors, or TAR. So here is, um, we'll just go to our dashboard here real quick. So Zip Forms or Zip Forms Plus, it's the same thing, um, is, is where you uh, originate, create, and change all of your contracts, whether it be a TAR contract or a TREC contract, or even one from your local board. So right now we're going to set up a template for um, a listing. I'm not going to go through a template for a buyer and a lease, but I will tell you that I have created this document that is posted on our website and this outlines every single contract, generally speaking, that you're going to need for a listing, for a buyer, and a lease. So you can either search zip forms by the exact name of the contract or by the actual number. Okay, so let's go to templates. And so if you click on templates, um, you'll see that you know that you're here and this is kind of this can kind of get confusing because it's not just painfully obvious of, of where you are in zip forms so um, if this is green or I am colorblind full disclosure so this may be orange or red <laughs> but uh, if this is it looks like green to me uh, but if it, this uh, portion is colored out and there's a bar above it that's where you are okay if you want to go to transactions that's where you are there so Going back to templates, we're going to create a new template for a seller. So you're going, you can see I have templates already in here. So I'm going to simply click new. And in my example, I'm going to do one for a listing or a seller, right? So I'm going to click new listing. And I'm going to name this my listing template. Okay. Um, I'm going to click the radio button for residential. Now, mind you, if you do farm and ranch business um, or condominiums or vacant land, you can make as many of these as you want, and I would suggest you do so, um, especially if you don't do a lot of farm and ranch or condo, as an example. Um, you tend to forget what contracts are needed. The scope is going to be uh, always personal, defaults to personal, so that means that only you can see them. And then there is also a default to do not automatically apply this template to new transactions. So I always keep that um, checked as well. So go ahead and click Save. And so now it takes you to your template. And if you're ever in doubt, you're still here, right? And you are still here. My listing template is what we named this. If you wanted to go back to the list, you could just go back. So you can do a couple of things here. You can add documents right from our libraries, from TREC, the board, and TAR, or you can add an external document. So um, if you, as an example, uh, had a, a relationship with uh, an inspector inside your office or a lender, um, you might, your broker might have you uh, put in a disclosure of such. Well, there, there, there is none in TREC or TAR. So um, the broker might create one, and you can certainly add it in by just clicking Add Doc. Okay, but right now we are going to just add documents right from TAR or TREC. So as you can see, there is nothing down here. And so go to All Forms. 
and it's typically going to default to a particular library. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click this uh, pick box and click all. Okay, because we are going to choose documents from various libraries and we just want to merely type in the search bar what the name or partial name of that contract is and move it over to here. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, you can either sort from A to Z or as I mentioned earlier by form number, whichever you prefer. I'm going to leave it on A to Z right now. So the easiest thing to do is um, if you wanted to add a document, just start typing the um, name of that document or a part of the name of that document. So as an example, if you wanted to add the, the IABS, you're going to want to type information. And every contract and every library that has the word information will come over. Okay, now this is a track form. And here it is. Okay, so when you click on this, watch what happens. All right, so there it is in that in your template now. Okay, so let's add another one. I'll just X out of this and clear that. And for a listing, you're going to want to know, you're going to want to have the T47 available. So type T-47. And it's the only version there. It is a TAR form, Texas Realtors. I'm going to click on that send that over okay now uh, probably the most important uh, document in a uh, on, on behalf of a seller is the listing agreement okay this is one of these ones where it's actually abbreviated R E S I D and it should be down here scroll down here we go residential listing exclusive right to sell Let's pop that over too. All right. So I'm going to stop here. There are um, several other uh, contracts that you're going to want to include in here. Again, they're all here for you. Those are posted on our website. So there is no save button. So what I just did, uh, I'm already um, saves it for you. You don't have to worry about um, saving these documents into your template. So now let's go back to the beginning dashboard. Okay. So let's go to a transaction. Let's say you just came back from a listing appointment. It went great. The sellers hired you to sell their home. And now you have to create that set of documents for this particular transaction. So how do you do that using your template? All right, so go to transactions. So again, this is greened out, green in my world. Um, click new. And this is a listing. And let's say it is Mr. and Mrs. Jones. It is a residential, and let's put their address here. And we'll just use this. Okay, so they live in Austin. All right, so it is a residential listing. It is an active listing, or it will be, and now here is the time saver. So select a template. So let's look at the one we just uh, created. My listing template is what this was, right? So let's click that. Let's scroll down a little bit, click Save. And now it, it defaults back to the dashboard, the summary. But go to Documents. And remember, you're still in this transaction for Mr. and Mrs. Jones. If there's ever a doubt, it's right here. Okay, go to Documents. And here are all the documents that we have. This, I think, is left over from a, another uh, transaction. Sorry. So what do we do here? So let's open up the Residential Exclusive Right to Sell. So now, what you can do, these should all be blank, right? So, except for maybe some information that you put in previously. But these are all blank, and now it's your job to fill in these blanks and check boxes and such with information from your specific transaction.
okay? This does have a save button, so whenever you're within a transaction um, and uh, you change something about that, make sure you are uh, clicking save, okay? Now, a little bit of a time saver here. If you wanted to go back to your template and go back into my listing template, which is the one we just built, I would go into some of these documents, and you only have to do this once, and fill in any information that will always, always be in there. And it's usually things about yourself or your brokerage. T47 is probably a bad example, but the listing agreement um, is a good example. So you're going to want to put the broker information, you know, address, phone number, con your contact information, um, anything that will automatically always come over. Okay, that way you don't waste time filling it out within a transaction. Okay, so that is pretty much it in terms of creating your template and um, applying that template to a transaction. Again, um, the list for all your documents are here. They're posted on our website. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.